Welcome to the Treehouse of Love. We're live. Join the conversation at 512-836-0590. Now, here are Todd and Don. Stick around. Coming up at 735, we're going to hear from Nancy Pelosi and her ideas of impeachment. Talking about Donald Trump. And uh, from what I understand, what I'm being told in my headsets, uh, she may have had a few cocktails. Uh, Not very good. (laughs) Right now, though, at 707, it's time for your daily dossier. These are the top stories you need to know about before you get to the office. Let's get underway. President Trump is praising U.S. veterans this uh, this D-Day, saying that they are among the very greatest Americans who ever lived. We know what these men did. We knew how brave they were. They came here and saved freedom. And then they went home and showed us all what freedom is all about. Yeah, making that speech in France at the Normandy American Cemetery near Omaha Beach this morning. I gotta say, he was doing a great job. Uh, Also in the Daily Dossier, Governor Greg Abbott is set to sign three school safety bills into law at the state capitol. It was one of his top emergency items heading into the legislative session. No student should be afraid to go to school. No parent should be fearful when dropping their child off at school. Texas must act now to make our schools safe. Yeah, the bill strengthened emergency preparedness, increased mental health training for educators, and removes the cap of the number of school marshals in public schools. Also today, the Austin City Council meeting, Councilmember Ann Kitchen will be among those introducing a measure to green lights, a new housing-focused shelter pilot program. She says up until now, most of the homeless programs focused on the downtown core city, but the homeless community is all over. So we both want to see what works in other parts of the city, and we also want to see how housing-focused shelter works. That's right. She's talking about the creation of a second shelter somewhere in south-central Austin. President Trump, he may uh, have time on his side when it comes to whether or not the Democrats will try to impeach him. There's been an increasing pressure on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to at least start the impeachment inquiry into whether Trump uh, obstructed special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Now, she is resisting for uh, various reasons, but the clock is ticking as a key element of the 2020 election approaches. Also in your uh, daily dossier, the U.S. Border Patrol's apprehension of migrants at the border with Mexico hit the highest levels in more than a decade, as officials warn that they just don't have the money and resources to care for this ongoing surge of parents and children entering the country. Those numbers underpin the problems across the border. Photos of families waiting in jam-packed cells and outdoor enclosures have sparked a lot of outrage. Six children have died in the last year after being detained uh, by border agents. All of those came to the border with some sort of sickness already. And uh, and so there you go. Also part of the daily dossier this morning, and we can get into this conversation, no. the Austin City Council is expected to vote on a plan to conduct a corridor study for the Bergstrom Spur, it's a stretch that has been under consideration. It's a six-mile passenger rail line in South Austin. It would run all the way to the airport. So now you're up to date on the Daily Dossier. All righty. Uh, I don't get this one at all, and I'm not sure I ever will as far as the need for it. Didn't know there was a need for it. Never heard anybody complain about not being able to get to and from the airport, not being able to afford it. Everybody's doing it. The airport's doing fine. They've made massive improvements to the roads out there. They continue to do that. I don't get it. Jesse in South Austin, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? Good. Fine. What's on your mind? Well, I was make a comment about the uh, crazy and stupid idea of a train system going to the airport. Uh, correct. It's not needed. Um, uh, it's not needed to be a waste of time and money. Uh, can you imagine the traffic delays that would happen during the construction of that being built? Yeah, that exactly right. They're going to make a, a, a system that's working very well right now worse. Well, let's be very clear. The city council is going to vote today to conduct a study. You say there's no study needed. You already know. But there's no need for it. I'm now, now this, because this would affect me personally. I'm in a black car business. I'm a chauffeur. How many jobs are going to be lost because if they put a rail system up? You think, you, you think you're going to lose your job if they start taking people to the airport? How many... How many trips? 95, 95%. Anybody that's in the black car business, 95% of our business is airport business. Mm. We deal with business travelers. Right. That's, that, that, that's our business. 
that's one. I mean, there's 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 many yeah. aspects of why this is not a good idea. Well, listen, what, it's what uh, it's it's sounding like the city council wants to get you off the road. They don't like you being in a car on the road. Yeah. Yeah. The what what the one thing that they need to do, and they need to have a study on, is they need to build a new, another entrance to the airport. Mm. They have one entrance and one entrance only to a major airport. Well, now that's true. But but is it? A, I got to I got to tell you now. You're out there more than I am, but I have to tell you. Any time I've been to the is he gone? It, okay. Any time uh, I have been to the airport, I've never seen a delay getting into the airport. I've never unless there's a wreck. That's no, very efficient. It's 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 easy to get into the airport. I see everything working very well sure. out there for them. I mean, there are well, always listen, hassles, but listen. In the future, this airport is going to continue to grow. More yes. and more people, as the population continues to grow, so many people moving to this city. Our airport is going to be strained. And the only way that you can keep up with the increased traffic at the airport, traffic passengers, is to add more and more parking spaces out there. Yes. And there's not a lot of space to do that anymore, right? Well, uh, they've certainly used a lot. I mean, they're always building new parking out there immediately. Immediately, back in 1999 when the airport opened, they were already adding more parking and sure. they never stopped. And, and some say that uh, adding a train may ease that, uh, that, uh, that continued flow. All right. Uh, 713, Uh, stay with us. We're going to take a look at Austin's on-time traffic and a very soggy forecast straight ahead. But also coming up, Amazon is set to launch unmanned drone deliveries within a month. We'll explain straight ahead. The Todd and Don Show.